Okay, so um, we just got done creating the um, Lego head, uh, Lego character's head, and then we also um, created a Lego character body. Um, I actually kind of misnamed this, so I'm going to rename this. This should actually be uh, Lego Torso. Okay, um, our next step is going to be working on the lower body. So to do this, we're actually going to kind of create um, or go and have a little bit of an unusual approach. Um, the main thing that we're going to have to work on is going to be um, this area right over here. Yes, yeah, so if you notice, it's um, cylindrical. Yeah, so we're going to work with that shape first. Um, usually when you're building something, you do want to, like if possible, work on the hardest um, shape first. Yeah, um, so I'm going to start with that. I'm going to go into my create menu, go to polygon primitives. And um, to make this upper portion of... Um, that area, I'm actually going to choose the um, cylinder. Yeah, so I'm going to go into the settings for cylinder. Um, we already put some settings in for the head, if you remember. Um, we're going to reset that. Yeah, so if you can go edit reset settings. And then we can kind of go with um, this uh, default setup. Yeah, so radius and height 1 and 2 respectively. Axis divisions at 20. Yeah, and no other divisions beyond that besides the default ones. Yeah. Um, I'm going to then go ahead and create that. Okay, so this is going to show up once again in the middle of our screen. Um, I am in my side view currently. I will be rotating this downwards. Um, your rotate Z, basically, if you can go ahead and put in 90 for that. Yeah, so we'll have that at 90. Um, I'm then also going to attempt to place it in the center of um, where you see the top of the... Um, top of the legs yeah so basically like kind of like the lego character hip yes yeah? so if you can drop it off over there um, i'm then also going to go into my scale tool yeah so you can jump to your r okay um, let's scale it out and let's try to match it up as best as we can here um, once again you're probably going to notice that the guide is um approximately close enough yeah so if you can just get it um, to about the right size over here yeah and um, this one believe it or not um, we are actually going to use this to create our lego um, mid section yes yeah, so mid section so this is actually going to be um, we're going to be making the legs afterwards um, but we are going to be doing this portion uh, first yeah so kind of an awkward um, awkward location yeah um, but basically from this front view let's go ahead and scale this inwards yeah and then we have that um, part where the legs are going to be hooked up to yeah, so um, looking pretty good so far All right um, now. This is what it's going to look like in your perspective view kind of odd Yeah, so kind of an odd thing um, But remember we are going to have to um, build up so that this meets the Torso so the Lego torso. Yeah, so you can kind of take a look at it over here um, Here are the pieces that we're going to need so if you take a look right here um, these are the parts that are going to uh, kind of turn into this area. Yeah, so I'm going to right click. I'm going to go into face mode. I I'm going to select all my faces at the top over here. If you notice, I'm encompassing four of these top faces. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Um, when I click and drag, I'm going to get these uh, four pizza slices on either side. Yeah, so a total of eight. Uh, I am going to then hold down my shift key and just get rid of these four pizza slices. Yeah. Okay, and then what we're left with is going to be just these four faces. Yeah, so just those four faces. Okay, now this one, believe it or not, is um, makes is actually makes is going to make things really easy for us to um, work on this neck portion. So I'm going to um, go ahead and jump to my front view. I will do an extrude. Yeah, so I'm going to do an extrude, and then using the move tool, yeah, so your W, I'm going to bring this up to over here. So we're going to have a little bit of an overlap. Yeah, so if you can kind of see, I'm going to extrude it up, and then I'm going to kind of have it overlapping over here. Okay, now you probably see this best in the side view. Yeah, so if we take a look at the side view, okay, and then um, well now you'll notice we have uh, four subsections that have been uh, um, up, uh, was it extruded up? Okay, uh, I am then going to flatten this. Yeah, so I'm going to go to my scale tool again. So back to R. With those four faces at the top selected, I'm then going to scale downwards. Yeah, so again, scale um, downwards in the y direction yeah and what that'll do is that'll kind of flatten it so that your um, f so that this part is now connected yeah okay now again still really odd because we have um, it's almost looking like our Lego character is like on a unicycle or something right um, but 
yeah, we're, we're definitely on our way to um, setting this up the way we want to set this up. Yeah, so um, from here, yeah, this is a little bit thin. So um, I'm going to ask you folks to select these two faces right over here. So number one and number two. So we're selecting both of those faces. Um, we are then going to use that to um, shape the rest of this section. So I'm going to then do a command E to extrude it. Um, now remember again, front face and back face are both selected. We can then use that to kind of bring this out and we're going to bring it out to the point where um, it kind of matches up with your guide. Yeah. So um, you may actually have to move this a little bit, but I'm actually kind of liking how this turned out. Yeah. So probably going to leave it just around here. Um, yeah, just around there should be pretty good. Okay. Um, I'm also going to take a look at it in this view over here. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Um, again, we don't want it to go too far um, because we do want to make sure that the um, that the upper torso overlaps it. Yeah, so we do want it to kind of hang over just a little bit. Okay, um, uh, let's see. So um, uh, this part is kind of up to you. Um, some people will actually kind of push this a little bit further. So what you could do is you could kind of push this out a little bit. Yeah, so that's your call. Um, if you do that, however, um, I will ask you to make sure that for these top faces, yeah, so for these top faces up here, um, that you uh, make sure that these are a little bit further down. Yeah, so you want to make sure those are a little bit further down. So that's kind of your call. Okay, um, but now that we have this piece set up, we can then start to grow out the top area. Um, so if you take a look over here, we have this area right here. We do have to grow this out this way, and we do have to grow this out that way as well. Yeah, so super easy. Um, what we're going to do here is select all the faces on the left char the character's left side, and then select all the faces on the character's right side. Um, should be a total of, it looks like, 12 faces that you're selecting. Okay, then we're going to use our guide in here. So in our front view, I'm going to extrude. Okay, um, as usual, your extrude tool is going to be facing in um, one of the directions. We're just going to drag it in that direction. Yeah? So I'm going to kind of bring this out and try to get to where our uh, guide tells us, okay, that's the width that we need. All right, and then um, from here, we kind of have ourselves a pretty decent, um, we cut, yeah, we, we were almost set up for our legs. This looks pretty good. Um, remember again, we are gonna have to smooth it. Um, so I'm gonna put the three key on here. It's gonna look absolutely dreadful, yeah, but not a problem. Remember, we do have our holding edges, so we understand that we're going to be dropping those off on here to make things a lot stronger. For example, yeah, uh, we're gonna go mesh to insert edge loop. I'm gonna strengthen this one right here. Yeah, so that one's gonna really help us out a lot. Also gonna do a nice little holding edge near the bottom, okay? It's probably not gonna come as a surprise that I'm also gonna ask you to also please do that for the top, yeah? So that'll hold that shape really well. Um, and then last but not least, I'm gonna ask you to do a holding edge that is near the front and near the back, yeah? So near the front and near the back, okay? Now, um, when I then go and press Q to get into selection tool, right click to go into object mode and press three, okay? Now we're gonna have some solid things happening yeah so this side is going to be super looking pretty good yeah um and like even the bottom looks pretty good uh, our issue is still going to be our um our original cylinder that just looks really bad yeah so um but uh our edges look pretty good yeah so um we're just going to continue with that i'm going to go back to my mesh tool insert edge loop um now we're going to strengthen the interior area so we're gonna catch this part right over here, right next to um, that center wheel. Yeah, um, we're also going to make sure that the wheel itself, yeah, has a little bit of support. So I'm gonna kind of drop one off over there. Okay, and then last but not least, this part is gonna be a little bit tricky, um, but I am gonna ask you to get into this. Um, uh, ask you to get into. Um, where the original cylinder was, we can select the center point. Yeah, so click and drag, select the center point while in face mode. Okay, what this will allow us to do is select all the faces just on that one side. Um, we can then do an extrude, go to your scale tool. Yeah, so command E and then R. And then if you can kind of scale this down. Yeah, and this holding edge will definitely help 
keep this model's shape yeah so when we go into here again we're going to pay attention to our character's left side yeah which is this side over here but when we hit three okay i um, you're going to notice you have one pretty solid side okay and then um, we just gotta do some touch-ups on the um, character's right side yeah um i'm gonna double check on here yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I think I'm probably going to do just one, uh, two more holding edges on this side. Um, so right over here, I'm actually going to drop one off right at the top. Yeah, so that um, circle kind of maintains the shape. Same thing on this side. Yeah, so drop one off right over there. Okay, a little bit weird um, to hold on to that, but I'm going to drop those off. Um, I'm also going to repeat whatever I had on this side on this side. Yeah, so if we take a look at the cylinder Yeah, we have this holding edge right over here. We also have this guy on the outside. So we're gonna drop those off um, I needed one more down here. Yeah, so all the way to our left the characters right and um, last but not least we're gonna strengthen the circle on the other side so now I'm gonna again go into the model face mode and just grab that um, the area where everything kind of like merges okay and then we have all of those faces selected really easily do a command e to s and then use your scale tool to kind of bring that in yeah and then at this point now we have that uh, midsection should be looking pretty good i will go over here press the three key um that should be pretty clean this will definitely work for our purposes um you may notice this part is a little bit odd yeah in this area right over here um but uh this should yeah i think this should pretty much work for what we what we're uh what we're needing for this this model yeah so that should work out pretty well all right okay um i did kind of forget to mention yeah so with the upper body um we are still in three mode yeah i'm putting them all back at one yeah so this is at one mode this is at one mode um if you want to already you can smooth these so i'm going to go into my mesh tool and choose the smooth option yeah so that'll keep us from having to go into three mode all the time i'm going to do the same thing with this bottom one i'm pretty happy with it so i'm just going to go into mesh and choose smooth there as well yeah, and then that'll have our nice kind of clean look going all right okay um so the next thing that we're going to end up doing is uh, we're going to start working on the legs yeah so the legs will be up next